Hey, Saka. What? I need a Guild Boss video. Wake up. You didn't do one for extreme. No. I don't wanna. It's your job. You can't make me. Why are you bitching? Because crit reset is gone. Yo, what's going on guys? Psychopoco here, bringing you another 7 Essence Grand Cross video. For this video, we'll be going over Guild Boss Season 1, The Re-Return! Without Crit Reset. So, I'm not making a guide for this one. Um, this one is, you do not want a guide prior to Dairy Launch. I'm, I'm basically making like a half guide here. Um, because I don't want you guys, if you haven't invested into Jericho yet, there's no reason to invest into her. There's other char there's a character coming out really soon. Uh, I don't know how soon, but relatively soon, that it's going to be much better. And I don't want you guys to fall into the trap of building out this character because that would be really unfortunate to hear that you guys had wasted resources on this character. So guys, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Alright, so I'm going to be doing Extreme Guild Boss, and I literally cannot be fucked. I shit you not, I cannot be fucked to try and crit. So I'm using crit chance for you because RNGing a crit is toxic. If you want to go for crit damage, for you, go for it. So we're going to go with turning off the auto. We're going to use one of these, right? This, 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 and this. Very important, the shield. Very important. Shield. Okay. Prevents lifesteal, prevents bullshit. It's wonderful. Shields are wonderful. Hide your kids, hide your wife, make sure to shield. All right. All right, so here's the strategy. One, two, three. Actually, you know what we can do here? We can just do this, right? We go one, two. Now we have a Gother ulti. <laughs> wow, Sekka, that seems ingenious. Good job. Too bad Jericho was almost dead. I know, right? If only Jericho stayed alive, this would be a lot easier. All right, so here's the plan. Kablam. 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 And Kablam. Okay, what are they doing with that? Alright, hopefully Jericho does not die here. Oh look, Jericho died. I hate Gil Boss. A Jericho card! Oh, poison. Oh look, double hit. Oh. Broke it. The butt. Get him. Nope. Get him. Still not critting. I have crit chance food on, by the way. Okay. Critical. Critical, maybe. The dream. Oh, we got a crit. We're actually critting, even though we have no debuffs. All our debuffs wore off. We have no debuffs, but we're critting. Positives. All right. So what you're saying is there's a chance. All right, so here's where we go. We're gonna go with a rank up here. Rank up. Here. <laughs> um, one of these and one of these. <laughs> and we're gonna hope that Jericho doesn't die. I believe in you, Jericho. Just don't die. Just don't die, Jericho. Wait, why why did why did it not rank up this? Oh well. 
skill boss. What are you gonna do? It was all planned, right? It was all planned. 100% planned. All that, 100% planned. Uh, see, Jericho didn't even die here. 100% planned, right? 100%. Uh, chat, you were worried. I was never worried. Confirmed. Y'all are bitches. I have no idea why you were so worried, chat. <laughs> Y'all were worried. Because <laughs> you're bitches. I totally get it. I totally understand that you didn't understand how uh, I was going to instantly win this. Oh, I'm still not critting. <laughs> I'm still not critting, you say. Oh, okay. We're still not critting. Oh. We got another Jericho card, though. There's a chance to crit. All right, so here's the plan. Uh, Jericho currently has a 125% crit chance right now. Uh, I have crit chance food on. So I don't know. I don't, I don't know how that works out. But we're going to use this, right? We're going to ramp up the Jericho crit damage a little bit. Actually, you know what? You know what? You know what? We'll blam, we'll blam, right here, right? Uh, we're gonna go with the, sh we're gonna go with one of these, and then we're gonna go with one of these, and uh, we're gonna crit 100% of the time. 100% of the time, we're gonna crit right here. Y'all think we're not gonna crit? We are gonna crit. You, just, you know why? I believe. See, told you, a million damage. That's all you need. I beat it. Whatever. Fuck it. There, we got like 2,000 points. Done with it, right? Not even, probably like eight, 800 points. Like not like 2,000 points right there. Best guild boss team, by the way. Uh, make sure to use this team, Winky Face. Uh, it's so good, you have to use it. Uh, I got you, fam. Uh, we're gonna do hard guild boss too, just just in case you didn't know how to do it. Uh, hard guild boss, exact same team, because uh, uh, RNG and crit sounds like a pain in the ass, and I don't wanna do that. Remember, exact same team, go for the lowest possible score, and you got this. Just just go for those scores. Low score is what matters. High score is for bitches that try too hard, okay? Very important. Make sure to use the ultimate damage from Merlin to kill the boss. 100% best way to go. Uh, ultimate rollbacks, again, for bitches. Uh, you don't want to do that. You want to make sure you almost kill the boss with Merlin. Then you get the extra freeze card like this. You see this extra freeze card? Because I did that. Uh, that's why. Should have done it that way. I wasn't capping you, bro. I mean, I literally did this so I would get the freeze card. I don't even think I, I ranked up the right character. No, I did. And watch, we don't crit. Bam, 1.4 million. No cap. Just, just, just cheese it, bro. You don't even try. Look at that 2k guild blast score. I'm done for the week. I don't care. I don't even want to do normal. So let's go ahead and the next thing I'm going to show you guys is uh, the derriere strategy that you can use on the Japanese version. It kind of relies around the blue Easton. Uh, that is a very cool unit. That gives, It's like Hellbrim but a buffing unit. And the... Uh, it's like Hellbrim but a better... Just a better Hellbrim, I would say. And the other unit is a lot who reduces critical resistance and critical defense on enemies. And she also, as a passive, improves uh, allies' critical damage. So it's just kind of like a all-in-one utility kit to give you like a Death Pierce passive as... Uh, well, not passive, but like an ability that you pop on the boss and an actual damage ability that will boost uh, damage passively. So uh, it's kind of a really, really cool character. You don't have to use this strategy. You can end up using a free strategy if you want to. They both work fine. Uh, you can see if you take it a lot and um, a lot in the strategy as well as taking out uh, Easton you can still get lots of damage or you can put in Hellbrim if you want to, to get a lot of damage too it really just depends on what strategy you want to implement so I think I have a decent RG run on this guild boss here if I crit that I should do like a big ass crit right there it goes if I crit right so we got 50% crit chance down crit chance up 30% crit chance up Dairy with a uh, two-star buff. Six million crit, nice. Not bad, not bad. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. Six million crit, all right. Oh, not bad, not bad. That's pretty good, I think that's pretty good. On hard guild bus, six million crit, that's not bad. <laughs> not bad. All right, let's try it. So I have, I'll have a total of 12 dairy buffs, but I only have a 15% attack skills buff here. And we'll just block lock. See how we get. Is are we gonna do good here? Nope. If I crit that, it would have been like six million, I think. All right. So we are on turn seven, I think. Right? Yeah. 
Best I could have done on this particular run. Uh, only getting minus 30% on a lot, only getting plus 20 on the buff here, and we're going for the ulti. So hopefully it's good! So we got some extra stacks on this, with a big buff there. We're getting a hit here, minus 30% crit chance for resist and crit damp defense. Extra crit chance, and dairy hits for only 3 million. Fuck! No crits! All right, so we've been RNGing for about, I wanna say an hour. And we finally got a turn that's looking promising. So this team relies on critting. And unfortunately, I will not be able to get max go through stacks, but I think I have three stacks on go through right now on normal, four stacks on go through. It's probably the best I'm gonna get. Okay, I'm gonna get a rank up onto a lot here. A lot's going to do a, uh, we make sure I'm the right character just so I don't fuck it up. I think I'm gonna do a lot. Okay, we do the script chance reduction, a three star buff from Easton, which is basically Halbrim buff, and then finally this. If this crits, it's the best I'm gonna do. <laughs> best I can do on normal guild boss for JP. They get him below to get rid of this defense thing, but let's see how it goes. Hey! 5.5 million, nice. On normal guild boss, let's go baby. Not bad, not bad. And that ends up with 2,700 points on normal guild boss. Nice, let's go baby. Finally got something decent. Yes. Took an hour of RNG, but we did it. All right, we have a chance. No a lot buff, but I do have everything else buffed up. I think if I attack with one of these cards on Derry, I'll actually kill him. Because I think I break 150k on a one star now. So, I think what we'll do is this, and... Yes. So hopefully we do okay here. <sighs> Moment of truth. Sleep time 97 just subscribed. Do we just keep RNGing or just go for it? I don't know. I'm a max stacks on dairy, right? So I'm really on the fence if I just go for it or not. Because I only have 15% crit chance, right? And then with a the buff I get like 35. And then I lower his crit chance by who resist by 40. So I don't know how much crit resist he has. But I don't know if I can crit him. Eh, fuck it. Hey! 6.8 million! Let's go, baby! Nice! Alright, cool. How much did we get with that? 3.3 threat. All right, I'll take that. That's not bad. It's not bad. It could have been better. It could have been worse. You know, it's not bad. I, I mean, I did an okay run, so that's good. Yeah, decent run. Definitely decent run. Not perfect. That, that's could have done it in six turns and it would have been a little better, but you know, it's definitely okay. So I ended up with about 9,330 points on Guild Boss. Uh, all said and done. So I think that's pretty good. Um, 3k, uh, I think I probably could have broken about 4k max if I do extreme and try to go for max min on everything, get a little bit better RNG, focus on my dairy more, get better cards, but I only really spent 20 minutes on extreme, so I really don't know if I'm going to keep going and try to get that. I think I've pretty much hit my potential caps on both hard and ex uh, hard and normal. I might be able to squeeze a couple hundred in there out of that, but that's basically what I'm going to end at. I'm not really going to get too much past that. Um, let's go into the team build and talk about that really quickly. So um, my team build kind of varies um, between each version. Um, for for the first part of the guild boss, what I was doing was I was using resistance uh, gear Gother just like normal, and I was using full defense sets on all three of these characters. And the problem is your a lot does too much damage on normal, so you need to use like common gear and unequip weapons. I actually have to go into weapons and unequip her weapons in fully just to get that done. And for her gear, 
Um, I just went for the full defense set, and I actually bought six pieces of common gear for uh, both Bracer and Ring, just to make it so I would do as little damage as possible, while also having large amounts of defense, so I would be able to get rid of stuff. So both on hard and normal, I can actually resist uh, without UR gear on Gother. Um, I can resist fully on those bot on stages. Um, if you do get a lot ultimate off, and you use her ultimate, um, she's able to give you a total of a hundred percent defensive stats and i think when you increase the ultimate level it goes up to 110 percent defense skills so if you wanted to you could burn like a lot of a lot cards get a six six out of six a lot and try to get really high stacks on the a lot to get like super 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 good on there and um you can also use your pa scale your passive up to 10 times giving you extra 50 percent crit damage on this team for your whole team so that's really good um and overall, it kind of just relies on Derriere getting the crit. It takes a lot of RNG. I only had 15% crit chance um, going through that. And I was using C damage food the whole way through, except for on, I believe, on hard, I used resistance food. And that's what, what really helped me out. Um, on Dairy, I have a full UR set on her, as well as a super awakened and full UR set on the other one. So I'm using attack and critical damage gear. Uh, full attack critical damage with like f almost 14% rolls. My cosmetics are a little bit weaker. Um, not the best on the cosmetics. I just have the UR cosmetics max. I could work on these and get a little bit more attack. That's probably about 180 attack there I'm missing. So a total of uh, 270 attack that I could get extra uh, on my Derriere to to boost this even further. And that would, of course, be multiplied by the percentages after that. So that would be a little bit more damage that I can get there. Um, and then my Lost Fane Meliodas doesn't really have any cosmetic upgrades done on him. Because uh, I... Uh, not Lost Fane. Um... Demon Melio doesn't have any upgrades on him, but he is super awakened four star. And I did put it my UR gear back on him. And my UR gear, of course, is attack roll to give me a little bit more damage with 14% rolls because uh, it's Meliodas, and that's how it went on the, on him. So that's where my Meliodas is at to boost my dairy. And of course, you get the plus 280 there. So that gives you the most potential attack on your dairy area. Um, overall, I take off on normal and ex uh, normal and hard the support units for both a lot and Easton, so they do as little damage as possible. And I I tried doing that for Gother, but it didn't work out because uh, with the triple defense set, you really want to resist everything to get Gother stacks on both normal and hard to get these scores. But that's how I ended up getting uh, 9,300 points on Guild Boss, uh, just directly from score. So um, I hope this video helps you guys out a little bit in determining what you should be doing for Deer, um, what you should be building for guild boss uh going forward uh the replacements on this team if you wanted to know for both normal hard and extreme um are you can only really replace easton with green helbrum uh, a lot is a non-replaceable unit because she provides minus 50 percent crit defense as well as crit resistance to enemies the only other character that you could potentially use is a character like valenti and a character like Valenti would give you minus 40% defensive skills down, and that could potentially work out. But then you would be missing out on a lost passive, and that would not give you as much crit damage because her passive can give you up to 50% critical damage, giving you a lot more damage. So overall, um, this is the highest potential damage team that I can think of on this fight. It might be able to try out some other teams to get more damage. Uh, you could try using, say, a, um, a red Elaine instead of an E and a lot and try to just go with raw damage and go instead of going for crit damage but i believe this is the highest damage you can go with a crit build and get the rng all right guys well, my name is Sekapoko. thanks so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video of course if you did enjoy the video of course like and subscribe it really helps out in the channel thank you guys for all the subs and, and support in the channel it really does help out um for for building the channel get everything going uh if you do want have other requests that you want to see for guild boss other things that you want to see in general for different teams let me know in the comment section down below what you guys want to see otherwise have a great day guys peace